to. All this happened before I realized how great Baby Dodge was. Bob Kornacher, the drummer with the Dixie Stompers, educated me to Baby Dodge, who was his favorite drummer. Which is obvious if you heard the Dixie Stompers records. Anyway, uh, I heard that George Mitchell was going to play a concert at the Hunt Club, which is now Fitzgerald's. So I came to Chicago, and I called uh, Bill Russell, who had that place on Ashland with John Steiner. He said, how do I get to the concert? He said, oh, uh, why don't you go to Baby's house and we'll pick you up. So I went to Baby Dodd's house on the south side and was picked up by Bill Russell with Larry Guerra, who was writing a book on Baby, which did appear. And Baby, and we, the four of us went to the concert. And Larry wouldn't drive past it in 25 miles an hour, and he didn't want to drive on the expressway. So it took us a while. We missed the first set, I think, getting there. Well, we got there, and let's see, it was Albert Wynn on trombone, and Armand Vonderheit on clarinet. Uh, forget the piano player. On the piano, I do remember, though, Erwin Helper sat in. And I think I'd met Erwin once in St. Louis and didn't realize he played piano. Uh, let's see, they had Jasper Taylor on drums and a good bass player, and I can't remember his name. So uh, Baby sat in and did part of a set, or the whole set, with, with uh, the band. But George Mitchell wasn't there. He had had sunburn or something and couldn't make it, and he never did go back to playing again. And somehow I got invited to a session the next day, and the personnel was Natty Dominic, trumpet, uh, Floyd O'Brien, trombone, Frank Chase, clarinet. I guess Frank got me the gig. Oh, and I think I went there with Frank. And, uh, Lowell Armstrong on piano, Israel Crosby on bass. I couldn't remember the bass player, that's who it was. I think Israel was working with Ramsey Lewis or Ahmed Jamal, someone like that. Ahmed Jamal. Time. And uh, Baby on drums. And that I really began to get into Baby's drumming because it was recorded in, I believe, the living room of Bert Smith, the trumpet player who currently lives in the Bay Area. And he put it out on his wind and ball label with four sides of Little Brother Montgomery on the other side. Pretty scarce 10 HLP because it was not very long before 10 HLPs died. That must have been around, the 10 HLP died 55 or 56. I think it was 50. Did Baby does die in 57 or 58? He didn't last much longer. He was, had passed before I came, I moved here. Because I, by the time I moved here, Bob Kornacher had showed me a lot about baby style, a lot of the subtleties and things, and I really wanted, was hoping to hear more, but he passed not long before mm -hmm. I, I came here. You mentioned that you, you said that Baby Dodds was uh, not as uh, extroverted as you might have expected. Well, most drummers are kind of extroverted, and he was sort of matter of fact, straight ahead, not dull, certainly not stupid. I think there were pretty good brains in the Dodds family. 